Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today, starting on this four hour time frame for Bitcoin, because we are currently getting a big move to the downside on this four hour time frame. So in this video here today, I'm going to be talking about the critical levels of support to watch right now, as well as this upcoming weekend here for Bitcoin. So let's first of all, take a look at this analysis from yesterday. Right here, you can see that I pointed out this ascending trend line for Bitcoin, saying that if we broke this uptrend, we should consider that a warning signal, because at the time we were also trading inside this big level of resistance, sitting from 67.5K all the way up to 70,000 US dollars. So right now, what we are seeing in the chart is actually a rejection from that level of resistance. So a big level of support to look towards is, for example, this big level right here from 66,000 all the way down to 65,000 US dollars. And I am expecting some kind of support to show up in this level here. Now, if we take a look at the Fibonacci levels here for Bitcoin, again, on that four hour time frame. Right here, we got a move above this Fibonacci golden pocket, which was a short term bullish signal. However, as soon as we broke below here, this was actually another warning signal flashing here in the charts as I called out ahead of time as well. So we got a move down below, then a move back up to flip it into resistance and then got a big rejection to the downside. And here you can see the results. We are just falling as I'm covering this analysis here. So we have right now touched this 0.236 Fibonacci level, which could be a short term level of support. And the reason I say that is because if we look at this pattern here on the one hour time frame. We have this double top pattern, which is quite a bearish signal in the short term. And conservatively, this is pointing towards a move to the downside somewhat like this. So what we actually just saw in the charts right here. And therefore I am saying that yeah, in the short term, we could see some kind of support here on this 0.236 level, again, at about 66K. But as I said, the most critical level to hold right now is here from 66K all the way down to 65,000 US dollars, because breaking down below this level right here would have some pretty serious implications on the higher timeframes as well, because basically on this one day timeframe, we would be breaking back inside this descending channel for Bitcoin. Either way, for now, that is not the case. So I think it is a little bit early to start panicking, but maybe by the time I upload this video, we're already at 64K or something. Next, taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map. First of all, on this two week time frame, we just took out a massive amount of liquidity to the downside here as low as about 66.3K for the Bitcoin price, taking out close to $200 million worth of long positions on this move to the downside. So potentially the Bitcoin price can get attracted to this 65K level, but to be honest, we would have to see a pretty insane candle to the downside, but I'm definitely not ruling it out as a possibility because Bitcoin tends to do surprising things sometimes. One thing I would be looking out for on this lower time frame, for example, the one hour time frame, is the RSI momentum indicator, because for example, this is already in oversold territory here. So especially if we now go a bit deeper into oversold territory here, at some point you will need to see the price kind of cool off a little bit. And I think especially over the weekend, we are going to see this creep back up to around this 50 level here. Now the way the RSI actually resets is either by some choppy sideways price action or even some bullish momentum in the short term. Next, moving on to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables. Yesterday, we saw another massive inflow into these Bitcoin ETFs, close to $200 million of net buying pressure. Most of that coming from the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. Now, I know no one wants this, but how funny would it actually be if this turns out to be the exact high again, and then we saw the massive inflows at the exact high before getting a major correction to the downside. To me, that would be pretty funny, but obviously if you're in like a big long swing trade or something, it's not as funny, of course. Either way, for now, technically on the one day time frame, nothing much is really going on. We are currently, as I'm recording this video, just retesting the top of the descending channel. But of course, keep in mind that if we break below 65K or something like that, that would be quite a serious warning signal that would also have more consequences on the higher time frames as well. So that is potentially something to watch out for in the case that we even go that low. But as I said, I am expecting some kind of support to show up inside this big level of support here from 66K all the way down to 65,000 US dollars. 
and we have already had a first touch with it right here. So this has been today's market update. Don't forget to come join the Road to 1 Million community on Discord. This is a very active group of people that are trading crypto every single day. So especially during times like this, it is valuable to be able to communicate with other people who are also trading crypto. The link is in the video description and it is also completely free. But either way, if you do end up checking it out or not, thank you for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.